pandas resample. So say you have a date time index, which is a fancy way of saying that you have some times or some dates within your data frame index, and you want to convert that into a different time frequency. What does that mean? Well, let's say you have a data point for every single minute, and you wanna change those data points into data points every five minutes. Or maybe you have data points for a year and you wanna change those into a month. Pandas resample is how you're gonna do that. So let's take a look here. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. Great, and then I'm going to create a data frame. And with this data frame, I'm actually gonna create a data frame with a date time index. This is a little bit different than the normal uh, indexes that we usually do, which are usually just numbers. I'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, what I did was, is I started off with a date range. I started off on February 1st, 2020. I said I wanted to go nine periods out and my frequency was T and T is a code for minute. And then I created a data frame with the data just being a simple range, just zero through eight. And then the index was the index I made above and I'm calling my column count. And what we get is nine rows, one for every single minute that I outlined and then the range uh, is the values that are in there in the count column. So notice how it's on every single minute right now. It goes from uh, zero minute to one minute to two minute to three. And so say I wanted to switch that into five minutes. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna call my data frame and then I'm gonna call resample. So this means that it's gonna re-pull the data based off of some rule that you give it. And the rule that I'm gonna give it is gonna be 5T, which is five minutes. Then what you need to do is you need to say, you need to tell pandas, hey, what a, here's what I want you to do with the data. And in this case, I'm gonna call dot sum. So what this means is that it's gonna to group together in five minute intervals and it's gonna sum up the count right here. I'll go ahead and run this. And what we get is now we just get two rows, one for every five minute bucket. Sometimes, or pandas calls these bins. And so here we have the zero, what's labeled as the zero minute bin with a count of 10, and then the five minute bin with the count of 26. So let's look back up at the top and make and see how we got these. So with the zero bin, keep in mind that I'm gonna start at zero and I'm gonna go at five minutes because my, my buckets are five minutes. So here we have zero, one, two, three, and four. So here's my first five minute uh, bucket. And so we have four plus three, which is seven, plus two, which is nine, plus one, which, which is 10, which is how we get this 10 right here. Now, one of the kind of the nuanced things is you need to understand on what side of your uh, what side of your bin is the data included. So, for example, right here, this minute five data point, this five, is not included in the first bucket, but it is included in the second bucket. Well, what if you wanted this minute five to get included in your first five minute bucket? Well, that means that you want to close it on the right. So that means that this data point would close off that bin and it would be included. So if we went ahead and ran this, I'm gonna call five minutes again, but I'm gonna say closed equals right. So this means that the right hand data point will close this bin. Go ahead and run this. And then now all of a sudden, this uh, zero zero bucket is gonna include that minute five data point. So it includes the five this time. Now, in order to better uh, understand this, I want to show a I want to show a quick diagram. So that is from an old one, but if we do if we do a new one, um, so here we kind of have we have our original data. So here, just roughly, these are our one minute buckets that we had, and this is our five uh, five minute new bucket. So this five data point, this could either get included on your new right hand bucket or this five data point could get included on the left-hand data point, which we, when we said closed equals right, that means the five minute is gonna get included, uh, is gonna be included. So that's closed equals right. But notice how this label here is zero, zero. And we have a couple options on how we wanna label. We can either label with the left-hand data point, which is what it's doing right now because this is the one at the bottom of the new bin, or we can do it on the right-hand data point. So this is when uh, the, the bucket will be labeled on the right hand side. And in this case, I'm going to set label equals right because usually it's on the left. And I'll go ahead and sum this up. And you can see here that these new labels are going to be what is on the right hand side of the bin with the same 10 that we saw beforehand. Okay. Now, one of the other interesting things is you can actually do uh, up sampling, which means you're going to uh, go up in the number of data points that you have. 
And for this example, I'm gonna create a period range, which is a little bit different than a date range because it represents periods rather than specific dates. I'm gonna create them on the quarter frequency and I'm gonna have the same uh, count that I had beforehand. Go ahead and run this. And here I have 2020 Q1, 2020 Q2 and Q3, and then one, two, three. But say I wanted to change these quarters into months. So three quarters, well, I should say, um, three quarters on the quarter time frame is only three data points. However, three quarters on the month time grain is nine data points. So we have to tell pandas what do we want to do with those extra data points that we now have. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resample that data frame, but on the month timeline, and I'm going to set convention equals start. So what this will do is this will have, um, well, let's just, let me, it'd be easier if I just explained it here. So now we've taken these quarters and we blasted it out into months. So we have month one, two, three, four, and five. And notice how the data point sits at the beginning period or the starting period that has been resampled. So in this case, it starts on January and January starts the new quarter. Well, you can actually switch this and say you wanted your data objects to be, um, say you wanted your, uh, your objects to be on the end. Well, you could say convention equals end. Go ahead and run this. And then now what we have is we have not only these uh, objects are gonna be at the beginning, but then you can see here that it's gonna start on the three, then it's gonna go to six, and then it's gonna go to nine. So whereas beforehand, the month nine, there was no data point, but now we're actually telling them, hey, put your data points at the end, pandas. So if I were to bring this all together with a little bonus material, I'm going to start here, I'm gonna create a new data frame, and I'm gonna create a frequency of every three minutes, and I'm gonna create nine of these. So here we go from minute zero to minute three, to six, to nine, to 12. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resample this, and I'm gonna pick a random time frame. And the time frame I'm going to pick, let me make sure I'm doing this here. The time frame I'm going to pick is every seven minutes, which is kind of weird going from three minutes to every seven minutes, but we can do whatever we want. My labels are gonna be on the bucket on the right-hand side, and I'm gonna also close on the right, which means that my right-hand data point on the bin will be included. I'll go ahead and run this. And then all of a sudden, now my data is resampled, and everything that is included within the seven minute interval will get summed up and put right here. So that is Panda's resample. Super, super awesome for taking your data on a certain time frequency and resampling it to a different time frequency.